Hi, Tech Road here again. Uh, I thought we'd go over the um, gigabit installation. Um, you know, look at the installation and then some setbacks we came upon over the time. Oh, well, let's get into it. Okay, now we can see the. I screwed it on the outside, just just outside the window, and then the cables pass through the window. They can be actually adjusted so that they actually go. And what I did is I opted to use the um, hinge and end of the windows for the least movement. And then I just fasten to the wall, and then the cables will come out here. And in this case I'll put it into a, a hub, uh, because this is going to continue this um, connection. I can't see what I... Oh, it's so difficult to film. At least comes from the outside, continues. I'll come and clean up the cables later. And then I have three that are going to be used in this row. Well, that's how it'll be. Shuts down.
side and uh, just screw it on the other side and the uh, door can be closed and the network cable can still go through. So now we've got all the um, through cables on the windows and now uh, it's to start to put the actual main cabling up and the first one will go from this room which has the router in it to enter in through the garage doors over on the other side of the car. The first step. So that's the first cable in. I'm going to put one of these white boxes and there will be another cable going in now so it can get to the top of the window. And then here I think I'm going to design a white cover that comes around here. 3D printed cover. And it will push the cables down somewhere like that so you won't see the, the black. So, first step. And it goes all the way up there. And then you start going across. Okay, and now for the bad news. So, this is the, the main switch in the garage that I'm currently using and as you see there's some um, green blinking lights and that makes me happy because that means a one gigabit link speed and then there's a uh, orange light that doesn't make me happy because that is um, an indication of a 10 slash 100 megabit link only and um, I've been diagnosing this for the cable coming in here that's why you only see one one of the network cables being um, uh, orange because I fixed the incoming cable so that's now um, green and then let's move over to the actual cause of the problem and I'm going to fly over here so to here and um, here we see the um, pass-through cable, flat one, and this, that's that same network cable which was um, orange, and then it comes here, this network cable, and it goes through the door, and then it flies all the way over here, oh. and let's see if I can even get a reasonable picture of this. Maybe not, not easy to see. And on the table hidden behind there is another gigabit router. So basically router to router traffic. So anyway, so um, based on my analysis and, and the testing I've been doing, and we have that pass through through the door. Um, the link is actually 100 megabit coming into here. So that link is dampening quite a bit. So I've done the um, following test. I mean, if you take a switch to switch and you have a Cat6 cable, then you know you get a gigabit, and nobody wonders about that. That's perfectly okay. Um, and if you um, go from one switch with a Cat6 cable to a feed through, like I have here, and then. Uh, cat 6 to this destination switch here then you can get um, seemingly it, the, the link speed configured is um, 100 megabit max uh, they did a, they uh, in the specs for those pass throughs they have like recommended speed is 100 megabit they didn't say that that was the top speed but the biggest problem is that um, uh, and then we see that actually illustrated here is that the way I'm going to use these is that now it's going to continue from that switch, go out the window and then it's going to continue to another loca another window and then it's going to come in so you actually have two of those cables and the when I started testing that then, then there was no link at all which is really sad so if you have two three feed through cables uh, then uh, with these um, these switches that I have then you get no connection whatsoever and then there's 
actually one um, I found one switch that can work through and convince a switch on the, or a PC, actually a PC on the other end of the cable to work and, and that's a um, oh, what was it called? Netlink um, <laughs> one, one, I have several different vendors, vendor switches and, and that was the only one that, that allowed the link to be created and what it did is that it created a link that was 10 megabit and um, depending on the distance down the cable length and how many of these pass-throughs you have then you either get 10 megabit or less so at the end of the chain uh, where I had the most in and outs then um, you, you got um, like 5 megabit as the operational and that was only with that one um, uh, net no it was a netgear router uh, switch so only if you use that, that specific netgear switch and you can't buy that anymore it's, uh, it's even if it's a one gig um, it, it's still a one gig switch it's still obsolete uh, so we really have a problem if we're going to implement gigabit networking in the house I mean I could have maybe lived with something over a hundred megabit as a link speed but I, I can't live with this situation this is not possible um, and I have tried different vendor switches and uh, it actually seems like uh, like if you have a oh what can I say if you if, if on the other end of this cable that goes out through the window if you put a switch it won't work if you put a PC or a laptop then it, it may pick up it may configure a connection but then it's again only a 10 megabit connection the links the, the link speed configuration is 10 megabits so that's not good <laughs> uh, so that's going to be my first thing is I have to find an alternative pass through method and I've actually been testing um, with this guy coming into the garage so what I did is I switched to a normal um, round uh, ethernet uh, cat 6 cable just forced it through the window and then um, uh, short circuited the door I came through the vent instead with a normal cat 6 cable and uh, that worked fine so then I have one uh, I have one gig in the um, garage YouTube studio but when I pass the one gig over to the office here then I um, it drops to 100 megabit and then if I try and pass it through the window like here in this case then it dies so no good so I'm going to be looking for an alternative I've ordered some stuff uh, and then if you follow up in the next video then then um, you'll see my solution uh, hopefully working I'll try a few options and then hopefully an alternative working but I have to sadly now change out all, all these uh, they, they won't work for me because I, I want to uh, I, I want to have a gigabit um, network and I still want to keep to the idea of um, zero holes in walls uh, I don't want to put holes in walls so just going to persist with this idea and try another solution uh, then I ran into a problem uh, which is that I with the switches I have that I there's not enough ports on them every which way one tries to count how many ports one needs one always seems to run run low on ports so I've actually ordered some switches with like 16 ports and stuff so I can um, replace the more um, I would actually like to have in any specific location always two to three ports free so that means one the switch isn't so loaded and then number two there's always an option to connect more equipment yeah so that's the uh, summary of the, um, the not so fun stuff that has been found but otherwise things are working um, you know the the cabling is now in on the outside and the inside still needs to be f yeah it's just to connect in more cables and switches and stuff so anyway so if you like this video um, consider subscribing hit the bell icon and you'll see the solution to the problems we just witnessed and um, see you in the next one